Uh, before we get to today's videos, I'm going to ask everyone to join me in a moment of silence for Carl Malone's record. A moment of silence for what is going to happen to Kareem's record. A moment of silence for the state of the NBA. A moment of silence for the state of society. A bunch of entitled, excuse-making bitches we've all become. I want us to remember when men were competitors first and brands and excuse makers last. I want us to reflect on the fact that sports analysts are saying it's fine that they aren't winning as long as he gets the record. That someone who has plummeted his team into a dark place, someone who when he gets his numbers, it equates to his team losing, someone who whom they say shouldn't be expected to play defense, can't shoot, and isn't clutch, and we're calling him great at the same time that we're saying he can't do all of these things, and are simultaneously fine with that guy breaking the record. He's being ushered into the record spot. It's like pushing a guy in a wheelchair down the 100 meter dash and all the other racers just stopping to make sure that he gets to the finish line first. And we're going to say, wow, look how fast that guy was. I thought it was bad enough when Emmett Smith broke the rushing record. And I don't know that much about Emmett Smith. I just remember it looking like I could have ran up the holes that he ran. But this is so much worse. This is so much worse. Like, no one can even deny that LeBron... Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. They're denying that he's playing terribly. And that's where Russ comes in, right? It just, just look at Russ. Just look at Russ. Forget everything that you saw LeBron do. Just look at Russ. What have we become? Finally, I'll shut my mouth for that moment of silence.